today to update citizens about this community impact. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi has the details. The Hartley Sewer Gravity Construction Project aims to provide a better quality of life for all citizens. We can't provide will serve letters to quality housing to prospective businesses that come here for manufacturing. Rich with Mayor Daryl Brown says the 40 year old sewer pipes needed critical repairs. So there were several sinkholes where there were dips and there were actually holes big enough to fit a tractor in almost. That was dangerous. That damage out there really affected us from a standpoint of trying to cut grass in that median which we do. The $3.3 million sewer improvement project on South Monroe and Southeast Monroe is funded by the City of Monroe Capital Infrastructure Program. Over 875,000 of that is for pipe alone. We're upsizing a, a large portion of the pipe. Approximately 500 linear feet of 36 inch force main that's being installed on the north end of the project. In addition to the sewer project, Washita Parish Police Jury representatives said they were moving forward with the lighting project. And we're going to be definitely staying on top of what we have to do to make sure that the timing of this area get the lighting that it needs. Imagine when we get all these lights put up, what it's going to look like, what your safety is going to be like. City officials highlighted the importance of attracting new businesses to South Monroe to generate economic growth. And once this, these parts are repaired, it's going to actually help with the economic development for the south side of Monroe. Because right now, a lot of people are asking, why aren't we having these businesses? Why can't we have this on the south side? Well, the trunk line right now can't maintain it. We're looking for businesses to come south of Monroe, but as always, there are certain things that businesses look for. They look for infrastructure, utilities, water, sewer. The project's expected to be completed by September of 2023. Reporting in Richwood and Valerie Moravi for your Oklahoma's News Source. Well, a Bastrop woman is facing several charges after police say she shot at officers. Bastrop police officials were called to the Gladly Drive area about shots being fired. When they arrive, 43-year-old Michelle McClure allegedly began shooting down that street. Officers were able to arrest McClure and found a handgun and knife on her. She's been charged with attempted second-degree murder, among other charges. And in Monroe, a man was arrested after he allegedly held his girlfriend hostage inside a home. Police were called to Maverne Street Sunday for a possible hostage situation. When they arrived, they learned that 32-year-old Teddy Marshall had allegedly made threatening calls to kill the victim's mother. When the victim's parents came to check on the girl, Marshall allegedly shot at them. Police were able to talk Marshall out of the home and arrested him. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We're going to start off mostly clear and pretty nice this morning. As temperatures start off around the mild temperature range of 72, 75 degree-ish. And once we get around 10 o'clock, temperatures will be warming up to the mid-80s. So if you've got any outdoor plans, it's really best to do it this morning while the temperatures are actually at their coolest. And it's not too bad out there. Dew points have been holding out in the mid-upper 60s, so it doesn't feel that bad. But by noon, we will be in the lower 90s. And then by this afternoon, we'll be in the mid-90s. And it's going to be slightly a little bit more uncomfortable out there. So if you're going to be outdoors this afternoon, make sure you're staying hydrated and also wearing plenty of sunscreen as well. We'll see a high about 97 degrees today here in Monroe. Winds will stay calm, mainly out of the southeast. And for tonight, we're expecting a fairly nice cool down. It's going to be a clear and mild night with a low of 73 winds staying out of the southeast. And as we go into tomorrow, it's going to be a repeat. We'll see a lot more sunshine. Temperatures still staying in the upper 90s. We'll see high of 97 degrees. Winds will stay out of the southwest. And it's just going to stay hot that much this week. and actually get hotter by just a few degrees. We'll hit 98 by Thursday and Friday. And then we'll be a Saturday at 99. And then Sunday Sunday and Monday next week. There we are in the triple digits, so it's just going to get hotter. And the humidity is going to be climbing as well. We could see some hazardous heat conditions as we head towards the latter half of the week into the weekend and it kick off next week with a few rain chances still possible on Sunday and Monday. Lows will stay generally in the mid 70s and then reaching upper 70s to kick off next week. And that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily will continue now. Watch your neighbors, take care of each other, watch those pets, check on the elderly, and God bless you.